sack as their Ravens will match up with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. This is fielded at the goal line. It'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. On play action, Rodgers. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. So the same tandem connecting on back-to-back -back throws to start the game. And maybe throwing the scouting report off just a little bit. That's not exactly what they think is going to be their number one receiver, but he's producing already early in this game. Rodgers on the money to the tight end, Graham. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. So first and 10 now from the 30. On play action, now Rodgers. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Jackson buying time to his left. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. Throwing again on second down. Jackson flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Jackson, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Here's Jackson on third and long. Flush to his right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back. But he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Jackson from the shotgun. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker, can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? 
And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. To throw again on second down. Jackson, he's got it to Ingram, complete. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Jackson will throw again, sliding out of the pocket. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Give the sack to Blake Martinez. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it, but Jackson steps away to his left. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down, escaping the pressure right. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson forced out to his... And he will score! Touchdown, Baltimore! A 10-yard touchdown run as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? Oh, no. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Here's a first down throw that's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey, but, you know, writing down your ad If you print, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Garner. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Got a man. That's Allison. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row. I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. Now Rodgers. And he's got the connection to the tight end, Graham. Touchdown, Packers. Jimmy Graham. There to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. 
This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Mm. Throwing now, Jackson on first down, eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. Short kick here. Fielded about the 17. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Jackson flushed out right. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 36. Sometimes it's designed, but sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And that play is able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. From the gun, it's Jackson to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Oh, it's a gain of 35. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll look to run with Ingram. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. Flushed to and he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens have taken the lead. The quarterback run has eaten him up all game long, and there he goes again, this time into the end zone. And what I like about what I'm seeing, absolutely running almost with impunity. He's not worried about his body. He's not worried about sliding. He's not worried about protecting himself. He's worried about getting yardage. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got to start figuring out what these blocking schemes are and finding ways to defeat them. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown.
touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I don't think got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because... And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a really difficult task. They're going to line up to go for this on fourth down. Rodgers stays on the field. They do go for it. It's Rodgers. They'll rifle this one deep right side. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down. Where's the ball? Where did we get the ball? But instinct takes over. And when it's in pressure, gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. The safety, Adrian Amos, comes crashing in for the sack. Throwing on second down. Jackson being chased out left. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 96 yards as the Ravens push further out in front. Well, you want to talk about making something out of nothing. Boy, he did that right there. What an incredible run. Obviously a pass play, and he couldn't find anyone open downfield. But sometimes the receivers just run those defenders off, and it creates a wide open space. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jimmy Graham with his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are back within a single score. Crosby connects on the extra point, and they're back within a touchdown at 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. To throw again on second down. Jackson escaping the pressure right. And now off to the races down the right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. Lamar Jackson, 65 yards as the Ravens push further out in front. Tucker with the extra point and the lead now up to 14.
Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Now a play fake here on first down. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt and in a big way. After the interception, here's Jackson eluding the pressure right. And he's going to keep it here. Pass the 20. And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Here's Jackson operating from the gun. Dancing to feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Flushed out right. He'll try. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. A six-yard touchdown run as the Ravens push further out in front. Well, this was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait. Oh, it's open. Time to hot foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, and didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points. Straight line. Fielded about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. ready to get their next drive underway. <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Let's this one rip toward Graham. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Tony Jefferson. And he will take it across midfield and down to the 45. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson buying time to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And he's going to get this inside the 30. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Jackson on first down, flush to his right. He'll run it. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too... And he will score! Touchdown, Baltimore! Taking it in from a yard out. And the Ravens turn that interception into a touchdown. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Packer offense 
ready to get their next drive underway. And last time, one play interception, so this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw is Rodgers. And able to find Alan Lazard. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Give him 18 on that play, and Green Bay has the first as well. Now it's Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Packers get a score closer. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. Step, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Preston Smith able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. After the sack on first down, Jackson. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the two. Dean Lowry in there to drop him. And sacks on first and second downs now leads to a third and long. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Jackson on third and long from his end zone. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Here's Sam Cook now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. On oh, the return is Irvin. And a little bit of a <laughs> consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win him the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play. But still, all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It it's just, it's, silly. it's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on, this thing was done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Ravens are victorious here as we say so long from Baltimore.